Hello everyone, this is Josef Notch here and today I am very excited to announce the one and only community Christmas competition with the topic the drag coefficient of a monkey head. And you heard correctly, yes, if you want to participate, the topic of this competition is to calculate the drag coefficient of a monkey head. Exactly this monkey head that you see here on the right hand side, this is Blender Suzanne. If you know Blender, it's a software mostly for animated videos or just uh, pictures and there you can add certain geometric uh, bodies like a cube, like a sphere and you can also add this monkey head. And so the topic is to calculate the track coefficient with open foam. And already at this point I would like to give you a couple of tips in this regard. So please check out my videos on my channel, especially on turbulence modeling and also the video on the tutorial collection that we set up as a joint project between the community and OpenCFD because there if you don't know how to calculate the drag coefficient of a certain body go to the tutorial collection at wiki.openform.com slash tutorials because there you will find at least two tutorials of Joel Guerrero where he shows you how to calculate the drag coefficient not of a monkey head but of certain geometries. If you know how to do calculate the drag coefficient then just go ahead and do your simulations. Also a very good idea is to google the drag coefficient of a sphere. Now why do I say, uh, tell you that? Uh, because if you take a look at the monkey head the shape is more or less like a sphere. Of course, you have the ears and the mouth, but the, the best ap approximation is a sphere. So if I go here, no, maybe like this. If I go here, I brought up Google and I Googled the drag coefficient of a sphere. Most prob probably the first link is going to be the homepage of NASA. If you click there, there you already see a diagram which shows that, for example, the drag coefficient of a sphere is not constant but is a function of the Reynolds number. And that there are certain regimes that you have to consider, or there is a very good PDF from Penn State which describes this also. Here you can also see the diagram. So Google it so you can familiarize yourself with the topic, what the drag coefficient is and so on. Okay, so these are my tips at this point. And now what you might ask yourself, what can I win if I participate? Of course, the winner gets the honor and the glory that you uh, participated in this submission, in this competition and you were the best open former and you beat everybody else. So the, the honor and glory is what you win. And of course, I will also design a t-shirt and the winner will get this t-shirt with the monkey head. So the specifications from my side, there are very few specifications, actually two main specifications that I ask you to consider. Please use Suzanne and you can download, I will put downstairs in the description the link to my GitHub account where you can download the STL file of Suzanne, this STL file that you see here. So please do not use another monkey head, use Suzanne from Blender. And another important point is that the flow should come from the front. So if you consider the head like this, then please blow your fluid, whatever you will use, into the face of the monkey. So from left to right. So not from top to bottom or from bottom to top or from the backside, from the front and calculate the track coefficient with this flow. Okay, so these are the two points. The monkeyhead.stl that you can download or you can create it in Blender as you want. You can download it also from GitHub and the flow should come from the front. So if you don't know how to create, then you open up Blender like I just do here. And then it is very easy to, you can delete all this here. The cube, delete, the lamp, delete, and then you can add mesh and here you see monkey. 
and this is Suzanne, as you see here. And then what I did, I added a subdivision surface here with three subdivisions. And then I applied it and th there you go. There you have now Suzanne and you can export it here as an STL. There you go. And then maybe an ASCII if you want. Then you can save it. And then here you already see one difficulty with this geometry is that the eyes are not connected to the head to the head so there is a gap but this is on purpose actually because usually if you're doing a CFD model often the geometry is not perfect so you have to prepare it and this is one of the steps that you of course have to do in each CFD project and this is up to you which parts which features of the monkey head you consider in your simulations and this will distinguish your simulations from others of course so but let's go back to my presentation so as I mentioned these two specifications the monkey head and the flow and please consider that the track coefficient is dependent on the Reynolds number of course and everything else is up to you I do not give you an inlet boundary and outlet this is completely your decision where you put them the grid resolution is your decision what models you use which solver you use which material you use for your flows how you set up your geometry which features you consider this is completely everything up to you and this is the art in this competition these finesses that you set up and then hopefully your simulation is going to be the best so everything else is up to you if you decide to participate then please compile your results into approximately five slides of a PDF presentation. A four or six doesn't matter but approximately five please don't send me 50 slides and short presentation and an extra slide with your name your affiliation and your contact address uh, email address is more than enough and then please send me this pdf as an attachment to the following email address and here you see it it's jnmlu jnmlu at gmail.com this is the gmail address that is associated with my youtube channel and please use in the subject the word competition you can say monkey competition christmas competition doesn't matter but please use the word competition so i know that you want to submit something so these are the points from my side, from the timeline. I'm posting this video on the 3rd of October. This is Tuesday. This is the start of the submission. And after that, you have seven weeks to do your simulations and then submit your results. Seven weeks are more than uh, enough. Uh, this is plenty of time for the simulations and for the evaluation. So the end of the submission is going to be on the 21st of November in 2017 at 1800 CET, which is six o'clock in the evening in Central Europe. So in Austria, where I live. So please check what time this is in the country where you live. And then once I have all the submissions, then I will upload a YouTube video with the best submissions. But do not worry, I will feature all the submissions and I will upload them to my GitHub account. I will post a link below so you can check out all the submissions. But I will post a video with the best submissions and I will not decide who wins, but you guys will decide you can vote on the best submissions and you have four weeks of time after that to vote on the submissions and the end of the voting period is the 19th of December 2017 which is also Tuesday again 1800 CET 6 o'clock in the evening again please check what time this is in your country and you can vote in the description then in that in the description section below that video then that I will post after the seven weeks and then between the 19th and Christmas I will upload a video with where I will announce the winner so these are the two important dates the 21st of November is the end of the submission and the 19th of December is the end of the voting period okay so with this What's next? To summarize 
uh, competition. From my side, please check out my videos, especially on turbulence modeling and also the video on the tutorial collection at wiki.openform.com slash tutorials because there you will find at least two tutorials by Joel Guerrero where he teaches you how to calculate the track coefficient of certain bodies. And also Google, it's a very good idea to Google the track coefficient of a sphere so you can familiarize yourself with the topic if you don't know what the track coefficient is. The deadline, the first deadline is the 21st of November 2017 at 1800 CET, 6 in the evening in Central Europe. And please send me the, your compiled results, approximately five slides as a PDF to jnmlu, jnmlu at gmail.com with the subject competition. So I know that you want to submit something. If you like this competition, then please like and share this video and also subscribe so you get immediately the notification when I post upcoming videos, maybe even updates on this competition. And the last point that I would like to mention, may the best foamer amongst you win. I hope that you like this competition and this video and that you, I hopefully you will submit something. I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.